Hi Cancer, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Welcome to Yasa's Universe, or welcome back um, to my existing viewers and subscribers. This is going to be your general love reading for August 1st through the 7th, plus 18, plus content, okay? So, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anyone with Cancer in their chart and or any cross watcher. So, these are general. So, when I say they're general, that means it could be happening to you, or you could be doing this to the cross watcher, Okay? Or it could resonate in a general aspect and not a romantic aspect. And also when I say it's general, sometimes it can just be what you're feeling and thinking but not doing. It could be what your person is feeling and thinking, but they may not be taking any, any action. So that's why these readings are general. And I'm reading for a bunch of people. So if the whole storyline doesn't resonate, but just one word or phrase or situation or me explaining something like this resonates, just take that you don't have to take the whole storyline, okay? Whole storylines are for personal readings. Personal readings will include a whole storyline that will, you know, resonate more accurately. If every cancer who watched this reading resonated with the whole storyline, then <laughs> we are all connected more than we know then. But everyone is different. Y'all remember that. So everything's not going to resonate. But let's jump into it. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for giving me a message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to pull one card for you, one card for your person or situation, and one card as um, advice or the outcome. All right. I'm open for personal readings. Follow me on all my social media. Book a personal reading with me um, by emailing me. Follow me on all my social media, like I said. Or you can donate to grow our channel or donate a love offering because my birthday is on the 8th, August 8th. Okay. You have the three of wands. Show me Cancer's person. So you're waiting for something. Five of wands. Are you dealing with the Pisces? Ten of pentacles. What the fuck? This is weird. So you got the exact same cards as Pisces, except you got the three of wands. Waiting for ships to come in, but also freedom and exploration. Okay? I know you can't see that. Three of Wands. Freedom. So, and they got the Five of Wands. Or your situation. The person or situation is the Five of Wands. Some battles, some drama, some conflict, and chaos. And the outcome, they got the Ten of Cups. You got the Ten of Pentacles. This is so weird. Okay? contentment the family's great so what i'm seeing is there's so it sounds just like the same situation you're trying to move forward one type of way and they're not seeing eye to eye sorry for the noise or you're trying you're waiting for some ships to come in or you're trying to move forward or you're turning your back on something or someone and the other person's situation or whatever does not like that it's causing conflict or drama because you're trying to gain freedom you're trying to move away or you're waiting for ships to come in or you're giving them an ultimatum you either gonna i've been waiting on you you either gonna come forward or you're not so now this person has to make up their mind five of wands they feel like they're being pressured right they feel like they gotta walk on eggshells they feel like they have to do this to make you happy because at the end the ten of pentacles complete happiness if you're single then this is something some type of stress in the job or stress with home family So watch the Pisces reading because the Ten of Cups for them, someone was uh, someone was pregnant or someone was having another child. This could be the same thing though, something in regards to the family. I actually want to get another some more. Clarify the Three of Wands for Cancer. Two of Cups. Yeah, you want to make a love offer? You want to move towards someone to make a love offer or you want someone to move towards you and make a love offer? <sighs> clarify the five of wands for cancer's person or situation nine of cups three of cups this person got multiple people no three of cups and the three of wands no this person is happy just out living the single life having fun but what what you don't know is 
they make it seem like they're happy, but they're not. The five of wands, they're sad and miserable as fuck. If they have the five of wands coming up as them, they're not happy. They're acting. They're a fucking actor. Okay? We got the nine of cups and the three of cups. So this person is dating around. They have multiple people. The five of wands is multiple people too. So if you're married, this person is a cheater. This person is a cheater. Or this person will cause arguments and be distant as fuck with the five of wands. They'll deliberately cause an argument for y'all to break up so they can go out and cheat. And then they'll say, well, we weren't together at the time. We got the three of cups. They're out having fun, celebrating nine of cups, overindulging. Or if this person isn't a cheater, they're an alcoholic or they're a drug addict. Because the three of cups, they get together with a bunch of friends or with their family and they overindulge in drinking or eating or smoking or drugs. And it's a bad habit, five of wands. So now they're an addict. Battles. They're battling this. They have to overcome this. They're an addict. Ten of, ten of Pentacles. And it's it has something to do with family. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. So this person sells drugs. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Mental conflict. So you're worried about the money? This person is worried about money or stability. Nine of Swords. Can y'all see? I know the ring light. I'm sorry. These glossy ass cards. Fuck it. Sorry. So, I'm getting a couple storylines. We got the Three of Wands and the Two of Cups. You know that this person loves you. <clears throat> and I'm not saying they don't, but they just have some some ways or habits or so just some things about them that causes conflict <clears throat> in the family. It looks like you guys are still together, Ten of Pentacles. But it's stressful. It's stressful being with this person. Or this is what you're doing to someone. Cancer, you're doing this to Crosswatcher. Or this don't even have to be a romantic relationship. This could be your job. <clears throat> the line of work you do. <clears throat> you like it. Two of Cups, you like the line of work. You do get rewards. Three of Cups, you get great gifts, great rewards. Probably great benefits, great money. But it causes the inter internal conflict. It probably goes against your morals. You make great money, but it causes a lot of stress. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you're probably a nurse or a, or an adult dancer or a teacher, counselor, anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. My throat is dry. I'm really sorry. I'm going to get some water. I don't want to stop the reading and get some water. I'm going to just get through the reading. Clarify the two of cups. Seven of Pentacles, the Magician. So yeah, you manifested this. Mastery and money. So what I'm seeing is, is and there's another storyline, and this is very, very specific. You did some money magic. You did some money magic. Or you did work to, you did some type of magic to get more money. But I'm seeing the five of wands with some type of price you had to pay. Maybe like your peace. I don't see you getting any peace. You love the job on some level. But I don't know what this five of wands is. Maybe the type of work you do is very competitive. So you love the job but you're in sales. Sales is super competitive. Super stressful. But you get a lot of money. Okay. Something like that. Okay, it'll get better. It will. The star. It will get better. Y'all see that. Okay, okay. Alright. So, I hope I touched every storyline. Um, I think I did. Alright. Moving on to the freak nasty portion. My lip gloss. Okay, better. My lip gloss is cool. Okay, so who am I doing? This is Cancer. Watch the Pisces reading Cancer. All right, thank you, ancestors and guys, for showing me what's going on for Cancer in regard to their sexual life. It 
it's just something about our makeup sex. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Scorpio, Capricorn. All right, somebody says it's just something about our makeup sex. All right. So you break up to make up. I told you this person argues with you on purpose to go out and do something stupid and then y'all have makeup sex. They sick. <laughs> call me daddy, call me mama. They love that. I'm calling you daddy. Daddy. I miss your touch, you got that good love. So it's something about our makeup sex. They be missing you right before y'all have makeup sex. Like when you have makeup sex, that's why. Like they they had missed your touch. They miss your love. You have good love. And it's more than just sex. It's love. Like for them, this is like euphoria. Strawberries and whipped cream. Pull out the strawberries and whipped cream. Don't forget the chocolate. <laughs> Don't forget the chocolate. Shower sex. Yeah, right after y'all pull out all them, that motherfucking food, y'all gonna have to get in the shower. <laughs> okay. Come and make it rain down on me. Y'all is some freak leaks. Cancer. Ugh. <laughs> Right my face. Did I say all the zodiac signs y'all could have been dealing with? You could be dealing with you could have been dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Almost everybody was out except air. I didn't see air, but you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. I just want to please you. I can't stay. Could be dealing with a Taurus. I just want to please you, but I can't stay. So when this person can't stay, they'll be gone for a long time, but they always come back because it's just something about y'all makeup sex and they always miss your touch. They miss your love. Now, you can ring my bell and it say, ride my face. That's what it said, okay? So we dealing with a Capricorn. Something with Capricorn in their chart. No one can get in the way of our connection. Woo wee! So this might be most of the people because one one person says, "I just want to please you. I can't stay," but the other one is like, "Ain't nobody getting in between our connection." This could still be the same person, even though they can't stay. Still, can't nobody have you though. Sick. <laughs> no one can get in the way of our connection. <sighs> mm -hmm. That sounds just like a Capricorn. Give me more for cancer, please, ancestors and guides. Strawberry pussy. Wow. Okay. We saw strawberries and whipped cream, so I got a strawberry. No, this says Starburst. Starburst pussy. So somebody got a wet pink pussy. Okay. Just like Starburst. You like candy. Somebody has a sweet tooth. We got strawberries and whipped cream. Then we got Starburst pussy. Somebody likes candy. Somebody's name is probably candy. Somebody calls someone sweet like candy. Okay. I still remember our first time. So this person still remembers y'all first time. Even if y'all been to, like together for a minute or kicking it for a minute or talking for a minute, whatever. Like they still remember y'all first time uncircumcised okay this person is uncircumcised you could be dealing with a Scorpio someone with Scorpio in their chart y'all know never mind never mind let me shut my fucking mouth <laughs> let me shut my fucking mouth I didn't mean for it to go this far so, someone didn't mean for it to go this far. I'm not sure if they didn't mean for the connection to go this far. And if it was supposed to just be a one night thing, a fling, or just a friends with benefits. But it went farther than what it was. And now someone is missing you, wanting you, needing you. Missing your love, needing your love now. Not just sex. Like, oh no, we passed that. Didn't I say we passed that? Because they obsessed now. Is is we're we're past it. We're way past the line. There's no going back. I'm obsessed. 
<laughs> they're obsessed okay oh lord i go she because your sex makes me crazy oh jesus this motherfucker is crazy as fuck so not only are they obsessed they're crazy as fuck so they ghost you and when they ghost you they start missing you I miss your touch. You got that good love. I'm not letting nobody get in the way of this connection. What it say? And then, I just want to please you. I can't stay. But this one says, I didn't mean for it to go this far. They know they're crazy than a bitch. They know it. They know it. <laughs> this is all I have for you. Who am I doing, Cancer? This is all I have for you, Cancer. I was going to say Scorpio. I'm sorry. This is all I have. We're, we're way past it. We need healing. We need counseling. I'm just playing. Cancer, if you like these messages, don't forget to give me a like, subscribe. Uh, you can comment as well. Book a personal with me. You can email me. Follow me on all my social media. Donate to Grow Our Channel or donate a love offering to my cash up. My birthday is on the 8th. I love you guys. You guys be safe. Bye-bye.